can't even begin to describe how great of a feeling it is when your kids get that excited about something. I mean, this thing is a total, I don't want to say piece of junk, but it's pretty close. I mean, we're, we're, we're buying it right at the edge where it almost fell off the cliff. And my daughter doesn't even see that. She thinks it's some super cool, awesome camper. Um, so that makes me feel really good. Now, my wife, on the other hand, Emily, she's a little bit concerned about this whole project. But we're going to get this done. First thing I want to do is I want to take you outside. I want to show you the outside of the camper, show you all the damage, show you everything that's bad. And then we're going to jump inside, show the inside real quick. And then we're going to jump in and work on this today, tear out the cabinet, start ripping off the interior walls, and getting after this thing. So let's go out there. Okay, so... There she is, 76 Argosy. Now you're probably wondering why it's painted first off. Airstream did make a model in the 70s called the Argosy, which is what this is, and it was painted. This is the original color. It was a white, brown bottom, and I'm not, I'm not really a die-hard Airstream fanatic. I know a lot of people just love the polished look, and it's super cool, but I found this one online, and I was just, through, I was, I, what I loved about it were these wraparound windows. You've got wraparound windows on the front, you got the Vista windows up top, and then you've got the exact same wraparounds on the back. Now that's actually not easy to find in the Argosy, so I just jumped on. I was like, okay, this is the trailer. We're gonna do this trailer. So this is it. Um, there's some damage on this. Let's just walk around real quick, check it out. We'll do a quick rundown. So I've got some Bondo in here, uh, some fiberglass work done. I, mean, I don't know why they didn't just patch that with aluminum, but you see quite a bit of damage here. This this is called the banana wrap on the bottom here, and these are actually really hard to replace. So this one is in pretty bad shape. The other one is completely non-existent. They ran it up on a curb or something. The outriggers are all bent, and the, the aluminum is just gone. And then you've got some body damage here. I'm not really sure I'm going to fix all that. One thing about the Argosies is you see the rust up here. So this whole end cap is a galvanized steel end cap. That was one of the cost-saving points on the Argosy. It wasn't aluminum, that cool aluminum wrap that you see on the silver air streams. This was all galvanized. We'll be able to clean that rust off pretty easily, but uh, that's just one of the features of an Argosy. The wraparound windows, as you can tell, are awesome. And one other issue I'm a little bit concerned about is there's just an immense amount of silicone caulk in these windows. And somebody has been trying to fix the leaks, and I can tell you right now, this thing leaks a lot. So we're going to have to probably rebuild all the gaskets on the windows, which is a huge project. Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown of the interior. Uh, we're about to tear all this out. Um, you got side bathroom, which is not super common in this trailer. We've got the rear uh, bedroom area. Everything obviously is gone. The floors are pretty rotten. Uh, I need to get these floors off and see what kind of shape the frame is in underneath. That's what we're going to work on. All this is going to come off. All the skins are going to come off. Everything's going to come out. Uh, the galley, fridge pantry we got to take it all out so that's where i'm headed with this right now i'm going to pull all this out and then we're going to start assessing the damage Okay, so we got the first day of work done. Uh, it actually went a lot better than I thought. A lot of this is going to the dump. I really didn't plan on throwing away. I really, I really wanted to try to keep as much as I could, but a lot of this is in such bad shape. Um, the plastic on these lights, just it, they cracked real easy. Anything that was plastic, I guess the heat over the years had worn it out and it just it was it broke and cracked. I kept a lot of these uh, metal brackets for the cabinets, although I'm not 100% sure if I'll use them, but I've figure it's better to hold on to them than get rid of them. A lot of what we're keeping is over here. Obviously we didn't throw away the fridge. I might try to clean that up. I don't know yet. The 
the big walls, those are all going to be templates. A lot of trim material here, trim material back there. Um, heater, don't think I'll use that, maybe. And then the old stove, I'm not definitely not going to use that. It's in really bad shape. Let's go inside and take a look. All we've got left to do is get this bathroom out. Obviously, we haven't done much back here. The galley is all gone, the fridge, pantry, all that was already gone anyway. You can see the extensive damage to this subfloor. This is, um, I would say this is pretty bad. Uh, it's very common for these old trailers to have subfloor damage. They do leak and it does rot out subfloors, but uh, there's a lot in this one. So I expect when we get this subfloor off to get a lot of surprises. Today we're gonna get this out and then, um, man, it's gonna start taking off the interior walls. We gotta get all the interior walls drilled out and then we'll power wash them and clean them. So let's get to work. This is the black tank below this, obviously, which holds uh, your poop. And it's still got old toilet paper and stuff down in there. It never got cleaned out. It's pretty gross. Some serious rust. It's an outrigger. We'll have to replace it. Have to replace this one. It's bad. It's not a good sign. Okay, I dropped in to do a little bit of work this afternoon. Not doing a lot. Let me turn the music off. By the way, if you need a really good Bluetooth speaker, I can't recommend TurtleBox uh, more. I have I've had I have two of these. Had them for a while. Waterproof, dustproof, perfect for the shop. Just a quick plug for Turtle Box because those guys make great speakers. Okay, so I'm not doing a lot of work today. I just thought I'd drop in. We got a pretty rainy, nasty day, so I thought I'd drop into the trailer and show you uh, how bad this thing leaks. Uh, it seems pretty bad. We've got a leak here, and that is dripping from this window up here. Got a little leak happening there. Back here, I've got a few drips coming from the ceiling, which I think is super weird. It's not coming from, you know, where this vent pipe went through or where the uh, vent is. It's just coming out from this aluminum track. You can see water right there. And uh, that seems like it's probably leaking through the seams in the aluminum from the exterior, which doesn't seem like should be happening. I also have a leak down here, uh, leaking on that old speaker coming through on this window. You know, the funny thing about it is the ad for the when I purchased it, the ad said in all caps, no leaks. And the guy was adamant when I went to look at it, this thing doesn't leak. And I'm not stupid, like I knew, I knew that all Airstreams leaked. I've done enough research on Airstreams to know that they all leak. This one leaks a lot. And uh, hopefully I can fix all the leaks. I don't expect it to be 100% leak free, but we've gotta make a huge improvement on it. So once we take all these interior skins out, which is what we're gonna start doing real soon, we can address all the water in the trailer. Look, I can see water running right here. That's like coming from a wire. I'm dripping from up here. It's crazy. Oh, you can see so much water down here. That's nuts. Yeah, so we're going to uh, we're gonna get these skins off. I got a feeling we're gonna be peeling back some serious problems, but we're gonna find out real soon.
Okay, so really the last step after I pulled these panels, interior panels off, was just power washing them clean. Now, I really thought this would get them a lot cleaner than it did. It definitely got a lot of the grime and dirt off, but um, they're still pretty messy. So I guess when I reinstall those, um, I will probably give them a good cleaning before we repaint them. Got to show you guys something. I didn't make this into the video. Giant wasp nest, paper nest. Where's the Hornet King when you need them? This thing, this is the biggest one I've seen. I found it in the vent hood uh, over the stove. And I don't know why, I'm itching my nose really bad because I've got allergies. I'm probably allergic to this. I don't know why I'm keeping it. I just think it's cool. It's like a souvenir. Hope you guys have enjoyed the first video. A ton of work still to be done on this, obviously. What we're gonna do in the next video is lift the shell up off of this, pull the whole frame out from under the shell, take the plywood off, and then we're really gonna see what damage we're dealing with on the chassis and frame. All the rust and all that corrosion and everything uh, has to be fixed. So that is gonna be the next video. Um, I'm feeling okay about this. I had such big plans for this trailer, especially with the woodwork, because obviously that is where um, my skills lies in woodworking so we're gonna make this beautiful on the inside I want to do solar I want to do lithium-ion batteries all the wiring and that stuff kind of goes over my head so I'm trying to research that and learn a little bit more like on the bandsaw so I restored a bandsaw in my shop that was almost a 90 year old bandsaw you guys were a huge help with that when I did that um, and what I learned on that project is really a restoration it feels so overwhelming at first and right now this feels really overwhelming but if you just take it one step at a time, you get through it slowly. And that's what happened with the bandsaw. It was just slow progress. And it happened, and it's a wonderful machine. I use it all the time. So this is going to be incredible when it's all done. I'm going to make great memories with my family in here. We're going to go on some cool camping trips, and this is going to look incredible. Even though my wife, Emily, is still a little bit unsure about all this. But I know, I know, I know this is going to be a really cool camper when we're done with it. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to leave comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any experience with this stuff. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Do you feel worried at all? I mean, I don't know how you're going to fix this. Well, I'll explain it to you. What we're going to do next is we're going to take this whole shell off and then pull what you're sitting on out. The shell meaning like this? Yes, so it's going to come off. So it's going to be like open. Yeah, so like I'll, that, I'll see the ground. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick this whole shell up and take it off the plywood. 
and then I'm gonna pull the plywood and the wheels off out, and then I'm gonna take all the plywood off, replace all the plywood, and like fix the frame. And then I'm gonna put the shell back on. What goes into the plywood? New plywood. Brand new spanking nice plywood without holes in it. Somebody sponsor that? No, you always want everything sponsored. <laughs> Why? I can't I can't work like that. Yeah we can. Check this out. You see that? Somebody stuck something through the side of it. So can you fix that? I think so. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna take for me to get this done? Five years. Five years? What's up, bud? Okay.